Hey Greens, today is another glasses day because I'm feeling quite intellectual and yeah, it's quite. <laughs> And we are back with another unboxing. However, today I wanted to start with two things that are really exciting. The first package is from my friend in Japan, Sharla. For those of you who don't know Sharla, she has a vlog style channel where she explores different parts of Japan. We have even recorded a couple of videos together when I was there. So if you're interested, I will link it down below. But what is notably exciting is that her and her friend over there started a stationary subscription box called Neko Neko Post. And Neko means cat. So not only is it cute stationery from Japan, but also cat themed most times, which yes, I love it so much because I have two of my babies and they are my life and I will fight anyone for them. Come on, fight me. So emotional. <laughs> so let's see what's inside. The reason Sharla and her friends started this stationery is simply because they didn't like the ones that were offered and they felt like cheap quality. So they really wanted to make something that was different and good quality. And the items that one person gets isn't necessarily what the other person's going to get. So they really are different per person as much as they can. So I don't think I need my knife and... I really have no idea what to expect other than the fact that every look, everything looked absolutely adorable on her site. And er my good, er my good. Recycling. The packaging looks absolutely adorable. They got everything custom for their company. That little cute sticker that says Neko Neko Post. Even the tissue paper. Er my good, so cute. And there's also a cute little envelope. Oh my God, cranes. Look at that. Everything is customized. Even the envelope. I love custom things so much. And the note does say here are some extras as a thank you. Let's inspect. <gasps> stickers. I love stickers so much. Oh my god, what is that? That is cute. That definitely appeals to my love of monsters. So this here is a monster sticker sheet. I love the little kappa and the demon over here. Oh, I think oh, I can't remember the name of this creature. I can't remember. It was a creature in one of the MMOs I used to play on Ragnarok. Oh my god, I can't remember. And of course, we have the theme of cats still kind of hanging out with those monsters. More cat stickers. For those of you who don't know, Sharla is as obs obsessed, obsessed, obsessed as I am when it comes to stickers. So she knows that this appeals to me and they are good quality enough for those of you who want to add them to resin crafts. These ones, however, would need to be sealed because they are paper. We have some, oh, I dropped one, some Halloween themed stickers. These are super cute, but of course I'm always late to open things. <laughs> and for those of you who like to collect stamps, here are some authentic Japanese ones, which are really cool. I like that they added this because it adds an extra layer of uniqueness to this package. All right, now it's time to open the inside. And I don't know what I'm expecting, but I feel like there might be a journal or a book of some kind or even a notebook. So let's find out together. I don't want to ruin this paper. The thrifty part of me is like, hmm, I need to save this so that I can reuse it in another gift. But Jackie, this says Neko Post. How are you going to put it in a gift? People don't always look at the actual writing on the paper. It just looks cute. You're right. All right, so here we go. Oh my God. I'm going to be as delicate as I can be, which is not very delicate, to be honest. By the way, if you grains are interested in checking it out, I will link it down below. I think at this time they might be already sold out. But if you are interested, they do have a mailing list that they will let you when they do have open spot. Did my sentence make sense? I'm not sure. It's it's too early for my brain. And all right, let's switch camera angles. I think this angle makes the most sense. So off we go. <gasps> oh my god. Yes. So let me just turn it around for you grains to see better and let's get a closer look. So already upon first glance, I can tell that these stickers are not from the Daiso in Japan, which is the dollar store. Unfortunately, a lot of the stationary boxes that pretty much come to me are from the dollar store and I'm not happy about it. So I end up not promoting it more often than not. The first thing we get is a pilot juice pen in grape color. I really love this color and it seems to have a nib protector. So let's pull that out and let's test it. And let's write grape. Oh, oh, after the first one, this really slides. That's really nice. 
So I feel like if you wanted to take notes in this, of course this is still pretty new, so the juiciness is still coming out, but here you can see, there you go. You see how wet that is? I'm sorry for using that word, but yeah, it's pretty juicy. Next we have washi tape, and if I'm not mistaken, these are family crests in Japan. And by doing a quick search, it does seem so. There are quite a few similar ones. And this one here is made in Japan. Let's check it out. Oh, that is soft. All right, so in the tape itself, it does explain that it is a family crest used in ancient times and still used today. And here are some of what they look like. I really like the burb one, of course. I am so biased. <laughs> and in case you are wondering, it does have this nice stickiness to it. Look at that. So it does stick pretty nicely. Of course, it's going to come off if you shake it more but it is holding much better than the ones that I previously had. But then again, some of the ones I had are from the dollar store and yet this one is nice and flexible. And now for the stickers, these are so cute. Oh my God, I love the art style in each one. And I love the different poses that we have. I mean, we have this one looking, I think at food. We have this one kind of ready to pounce. This one kind of trying to stay warm. And yes, some of the gold sheen on there is a little glowy. I really love the poses. Those are just adorable. There's not much for me. A mouse! <laughs> Drinking water. I mean, these would make some really adorable charms if you're into resin crafting. Next we have, oh my god, is that a postcard? Oh, that is way too beautiful to use. Let's just take it out. Oh, that is adorable. This illustration is just, oh wow. And let's check the back. Yes, so it is a postcard. So I think what I'm going to do is I don't want to hoard postcards. So I'm going to be using some of these to send letters to Ukraines for those of you who are patrons and members. So I'm going to try and figure out a way that I can contact individual members as well. This is so pretty. Next, I think this is also a postcard. Yes. So this here is also a postcard. Let's see the description. It's written in Japanese. <laughs> I know Charla is a huge fan of flowers, so I am not surprised that flowers were included as part of the series. This is it's like a nice painting. Next! Oh no! Oh, is that a sweet potato card? Yes! Oh my god, yes! Let's open that. Oh my god! <laughs> that is hilarious. Even the paper here looks like it's bent. It just looks like it's crumpled up sweet potato because sweet potatoes are in season in Japan. So let's see. Oh, it's by Sanrio also, the same company that does Hello Kitty. Does this open? Oh, there. Oh, the potato comes out. Oh wait, the potato is a card. Okay, this is hilarious. I am loving this. I think I'm going to use this as a gift for Pat because He's Polish and he loves his potatoes. <laughs> so we can put the potato in the front and I think I picked it up from the back. Yeah, so you can put it in the back. That's actually where it has a little holder right here. So it sits nicely. That is cute. I love this. Probably one of my favorite cards. Great for birthdays, I guess. Any occasion, technically. Could be a thank you card. Could be a card that you're giving with a gift or whatever. I, I really like this. And in case you're wondering, yes, it does come with an envelope. Oh, that is nice. Can you, can you grain see this? It is textured. Feels good. I don't know why. I am really easily distracted by texture. I just love touching different textures. And last but not least, oh, I think these are yokai, if I'm not mistaken, which are supposed to be traditional Japanese type monsters that have each one of them has its own folklore. I think there's like a ridiculous amount close to like hundreds of thousands of them. They even sell books with the drawings and the different monsters and their origin story. So this is a cute notebook. Super adorable. I love the look of this one. So, oh, look at her. Okay, so this is the creature that came up. So yes, they are called yokai and they are the different monsters that exist in Japanese folklore. And as you saw, it is a lined notebook. 
I love these drawings so much. I can't get over how much I love this postcard. So yeah, if you greens are interested in Neko Neko Post, check it down below. So that way you can be on the waiting list for when they relaunch and take on more subscribers. Thank you, Sharla and Ushka for sending this to me. The um, next unboxing I want to do is something I totally caved in. I didn't want to, but then it was sold out. Let me show you first. what I caved in. <laughs> so I got a Switch. Animal Crossing version. Initially when it was released, it was sold out immediately. So I didn't even really have to debate in getting it, even though part of me is like, I really wish I could have it. But then you have these people who are hoarders, just buy it and resell it for like double, triple the price. I'm like, nope, I am not encouraging that kind of behavior. So fast forward last week, Pat saw that it was available on Amazon and he's like, you really should get it. And part of me is like, I'm not gonna get it. And I knew that if I hesitated for too long, it's going to be sold out again. So here is <laughs> my new Switch Animal Crossing version. At this time, I do have a Switch. It's the normal version. Let me show you. This one over here. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it. However, I know that right now, even EB Games is buying it to close to, I would say, 80% of its current value. So they're paying quite a bit for it because it seems like it's in high demand. So it's basically like I bought the new one after the exchange for like $30. That's my math. So if I exchange my old one and I got this one, I'm basically only paying $30, 30? No, 50, $50 from my pocket to have a limited edition exclusive Animal Crossing version. So in my head, I'm like, I can justify it since I am doing the exchange anyways. I'm so thrifty. So I figured since I'm super excited about this, I want to show you. However, let's do a couple of small clips of the areas I have in my own village. It is nowhere near done. So I'm going to show you the first one. I have my little, I call Tokyo. It looks really much nicer at night because there's all these neons and there's different things on the street. It's a little dirty, but it's think of it as like the grungy part of downtown Tokyo. And then for my villagers, I have a residential area, which seems kind of bougie. <laughs> I don't know why I gave them a bougie area, but it just feels, it's kind of cute. And then one of my other favorite parts is the Osaka inspired street. Now they do have some recreational activities going on there, but it's not reflective of Osaka. I kind of just add it there because it reminds me of the Yakuza. So I was like, why not? And this is basically where my residence is in Animal Crossing. I know everybody keeps putting themselves on the highest hill and the most prettiest part of the town, but I, I like the grungy part. If you would like a full island tour, I might consider it at some point once my gaming channel is out and that's probably why I was really encouraged to get this one. So I do have a gaming channel that is nowhere near done. Like it's, I only have a trailer up there for the last few months, but I haven't posted anything. It is called Raging Raccoon Gamer. I haven't fully decided what direction I'm going with it other than the fact that I really want to play games, kind of mess up in them. I don't want to just be cute and fun. I really want to continue with the fact that I'm just, you you know, chaotic. So let's let's open this up. All right. Now I don't remember how to open one of these boxes because it's been a while since I've had mine. But I'm going to be as gentle <laughs> as possible. Ooh. I think what one of the things that really got me were these beautifully pasteled color controllers. So here they are. I'm going to keep the main console here, and I'm mostly interested in the this one. Yes because all the rest is basically the same thing. I just want to look at these bits over here. Oh my God, that is adorable. So here's the front, as opposed to it just being a plain black console. It's just so pastel and cute, and I think that's what got me. <laughs> I think that's about it. I don't want to unbox all the cables and all that because it's exactly the same thing as any Switch. I just really wanted to go through the controllers and the, the, the holder thing. One of the things I really wish they could have added was a case. That would have been really cute to have just an Animal Crossing themed case to be able to store our Switch. And now we're going to open a pot package. <laughs> I'm going to open a package from Graphic Mistake from New Hampshire from the US. <laughs> absolutely love receiving these packages from Ugrains, but remember, they do take me at least five, six, 
months to get to. So if you are really patient and you know you won't be annoyed of my face at some point, then I love receiving things from you. However, I really do encourage you not to send anything during the holiday seasons because I'm pretty sure it's going to be really hectic this year, especially since families can't necessarily visit each other. So I'm feeling like it's going to be even more hectic. So don't risk having your items lost in the mail. <gasps> no! I have goosebumps. Why do you greens do this to me? You know, one of the things that gives me goosebumps is these characters in the background. So let us read the note. This is a really adorable note by Graphic Mistake. And it does say that they are also dark in the soul. But also love colors. And when it comes to art and craft supplies, you want all the colors like me. And we do have pictures of their kitty cats. I love cats so much. And I mean, thematically, it was the right time because we had the Neko Neko Post stationery too. And I do see two gifts in here, Army Good. We have a My Hero Academia bento box. This is quite the bento box. Usually the ones that I get are kind of like this big. This one is actually quite sizable, so I like that. And I'm guessing the utensils are on the inside. Yes, so we have the chopsticks and a spoon, the first compartment and the second compartment. And then you put all of this together with the this here. I don't know if this makes it so that it doesn't leak, but I'm not sure. I actually never tried to see if it was leak proof because I have a couple of those in, in different ones, but smaller. Gonna have to eventually test it. And we do have some of the main characters. Can we just scratch this guy off? Can we take him off the show? He is so annoying. <laughs> And then, oh no, the box opened. Let's fix it. We have a pop figure of one of my favorite characters, which is Stain. He is really cool because even though he is considered a bad guy, he's technically not a bad guy. Well, he is. What he does is not okay. But in idea, his principle is interesting. It's kind of like playing devil's advocate. So he is definitely one of my favorite characters, even though he is a villain, kind of. I could write a whole essay about him. So thank you so much, Graphic Mistake, for these amazing My Hero Academia. I'm probably going to put Stain somewhere in my background, kind of like right next to Salty Plushy because there's space. Next we have from Vilhawa, from South Dakota. I hope I'm saying the state's names right. As a Canadian, I don't know all the states, but I try. And I'm curious, do you Greens know any of our provinces? That would be really interesting to note if you have any information about our provinces and capitals and whatnots. So let's see what we have in here. We are greeted with green paper. Let us pull it out. Ooh. <gasps> Burp. Oh, burp. <laughs> oh no, that is so cute. Look at the tail. Oh my God. So we have the fail, fa fail feathers. You heard nothing. <laughs> we have the tail feathers. We have, oh my God, he is cute. I don't know why I keep doing this, but that is adorable. That is really awesome. Let's find the note. So this note is from Sierra and Sierra says that my videos makes her laugh. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really hope that my silliness can at least make some of you grains smile. That is the entire goal of making my videos is to make sure that you grains are smiling or at least get a little chuckle. And, oh no. <laughs> In the green paper, I found an unimpressed Bulbasaur and a salt shaker and their pins. These would be absolutely adorable on my bag. Thank you so much, Sierra. I absolutely love Burp. Burp is gonna go on my background. So I don't know if your grains can see, so we have stain right here and we have Burp plush down here. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send me something. I do have still quite a bit of packages, so we'll get to it. Patience. It's probably not, but at least we will get through them. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you check up here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.